I'm Peggy Sexton. I'm a lead keeper here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park and we're in front of our Western Gorilla exhibit. Um, all gorillas are endangered and we are especially pleased that we have added to the population. We had a baby born Friday night about 9 o'clock. Uh, we were expecting the baby and uh, we had observers watching and so we knew exactly when it was born and everything's just going great. When gorilla babies are born, they're totally dependent on their moms. They can't um, support their own weight. So the moms have to carry them 24-7, uh, and the babies can cling to their fur, but they can't you know, support their own weight, so the moms are carrying them. And so as long as everything's normal, we put them out on an exhibit with everybody. She's been with the whole troop the whole time. When mom had the baby, she was with the troop, and everything stays as normal as possible, so they're all on exhibit. This gorilla birth is very special because it's our first one in 11 years. Our troop has been very well represented in the captive population and this year we got a, or last year, we got a breeding recommendation and we brought in Kokomo from the Oklahoma City Zoo for breeding and she and Winston got along very well obviously and now we have a brand new baby. In zoos for all endangered species we have a management groups called uh, Species Survival programs and they look at the genetics of each of the species and determine um, when and uh, which animals should breed. There's only so much room in, in zoos for um, large animals and so you have to be very careful uh, which animals breed and which ones you have room for and with the Gorilla SSP we're really fortunate because um, we have about 98 um, percent variability out for the next 200 years so we're in really good shape. So gorillas are endangered because of due to things like habitat destruction, uh, habitat encroachment by human populations, the bushmead trade which has become a huge commercial operation, and also things like disease. Ebola has been a I had a tremendous negative effect on the western gorillas which we have here and so today we don't really know how many are in, in the world so um, that's why this is very important. Gorilla babies are totally dependent on their moms. They're about between three and a half and four and a half pounds when they're born. We don't weigh the babies because as long as mom is taking care of them we don't Get, in, get involved. We just let them do their job. Uh, and the babies have to cling to the, they cling to their mother's fur, but they can't support their own weight. So the moms have to hold on to them 24 7, which is quite an energy expenditure for them because they walk on all fours. So now they've got one hand uh, completely devoted to the baby. So when you watch, and you can see her, she'll shift the baby from one side to the other when they're nursing, and you'll see her patting it and carrying it around in her hand. They're just about a handful at this age. Um, and today we've just confirmed that the baby is a boy. So this is a great time to visit the San Diego Zoo for Safari Park because the baby's on exhibit with her mom and the rest of the troop every day. And you can see them in the exhibit right behind me. You saw a brand new gorilla that's born last Friday. Exciting. Thoroughly enjoyed. Super cute. Like, I wanted to hold it. I don't know. It, it was just adorable. It, all babies are, I guess. But that, it was really cool to be able to see a baby that was just born like five days ago. Oh, just an adorable little baby gorilla with his mom. It was interesting to watch her walk since she could only walk on two of her feet. She kind of waddled. <laughs>